I'm J.R. Church. Welcome to today's analysis of the news. Got a couple of items. One from Arutz Shiva that says that Turkey has signed a pact, a military defense pact, cooperation pact with Syria. Now, this is most important, I think. The article uh, reads, Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan on Tuesday accused the state of Israel of deliberately wounding Gaza children by using white phosphorus bombs during its counter-terrorism military operation in the region last winter. On the same day, Turkish Foreign Minister Ahmet Davutoglu signed a series of military and civilian pacts with Syria, a declared enemy of the state of Israel. So now Turkey has cut itself off from its um, association with Israel, which has been uh, rather warm over the past several years. Enough for us to scratch our heads and say, if Turkey is, a, is the house of Togarma and a part of the ancient um, Ezekiel 38 Gog, uh, battle of Gog and Magog, why are they warming up to Israel? Well, hey. They have now made a defense pact with Syria. Ergodon went on to say, and he's the head of Turkey. Um, I don't know if you call him prime minister or president or what he is. He's the, the um, leader. He said, quote, in Gaza, phosphorus bombs fell on innocent children, end of quote. According to a report published in the Turkish newspaper Sabah. Quote, there are countries in which children receive the best education and the most advanced medical services. In other places, there is desperation, poverty, war, and weapons of mass destruction. We must listen to the voices of the oppressed. He reportedly told Islamic clerics in Turkey. He said, quote, Iraq was conquered and so was Gaza. Humanity is watching the evils from a comfortable seat. Well, he throws in his little barb against the United States as well. So Turkey has made a 180 degrees uh, turn from its once being allied with the U.S. and with Israel. Turkey has now turned its back on the United States and Israel and has made a defense treaty with Syria. And by the way, has also warmed up to Iran. So things are not boding too well in the Middle East there. Tensions between Turkey and Israel have increased over the past year, beginning with the harsh criticism of Israel by Erdogan over Operation Cast Lead, which took place last December 27th, 2008 through January 20th, 2009. Last week, Turkey, um, and here it says Ankara, that means the uh, political regime in the capital of Ankara, Turkey, uh, suddenly informed Jerusalem it was barring the Israeli Air Force from participating in the joint Ayatollah Eagle military air exercise that had been scheduled for this week. Turkey announced the move seen as a punishment for Israel's military operation in Gaza and, uh, and would uh, simply delay the exercise which had been conducted together with Israel and the U.S. at least five times since the year 2001. Turkey was forced to call off the international joint drill indefinitely, however, after the United States and Italy pulled out of the exercises as well in a solidarity move with the Israeli Air Force. Turkey signed a military deal with Syria on the same day the Turkish Prime Minister launched his verbal attack against Israel in the Turkish media. And just two days after the announcement that Ankara had banned Israel's participation in the joint Anatolian Eagle exercise. Turkey on Tuesday signed a military cooperation pact with Syria. Turkish Foreign Minister Ahmed Davutoglu and his Syrian counterpart Walid Moalim inked the agreement in the northern city, Syrian city of Aleppo. The two nations also signed a series of civil agreements, including one in which uh, Passports or visa requirements for visitors between the two countries are suspended. So they've opened their borders to each other. Um, the Syrian representative, Mo'alan, said, quote, We congratulate Turkey for canceling the military exercises with Israel. Uh, 
as a country bordering Turkey. The exercise would have naturally worried us. Israel launched last winter's counter terrorist operation in Gaza in an attempt to silence the thousands of rocket and mortar attacks that were being fired from the region at southern Israeli civilians by the Palestinian Authority terrorists. And Abbas, the leader of the, of the PA, the Palestinian Authority, uh, blames, the Ga uh, blames the Hamas in Gaza for the homelessness of their people. After weeks of absorbing criticism from the Hamas terror group that controls Gaza, Ramallah-based Palestinian Authority Chairman Mahmoud Abbas struck back Tuesday. Abbas accused the group's leadership of running away to Sinai during Operation Cast Lead and abandoning the people it had pledged to serve when it seized control of the region. He said, quote, Hamas leaders escaped, leaving its people to die as Israel fought to end the rocket attacks on the northern, on the, pardon me, on the western Negev communities that emanated from Gaza. Abbas told reporters this during a tour of Janine. He said, quote, there are many Gaza Arabs today who are homeless because of them, the Hamas. We asked Hamas to calm things down even before the IDF operation in Gaza, but they refused. The Palestinian chairman said, all of the sudden... They are killing today anyone opposed to calm with Israel. So, Hamas won't leave things alone, will they? And Turkey has taken the side of Iran's backed Hamas and uh, Hezbollah, both uh, headquartered in Syria. Here's another interesting.